Welcome to part two of the Manipulating the Math series where we are working with base 10 blocks. Let's represent the concept of rounding decimals. To help show our students the distance between two benchmark numbers, let's go ahead and provide a value to these base 10 blocks. So in this example, we're rounding to the ones place so that rod is representing one whole. However, each unit cube is representing one tenth. By showing that one tenth, it's going to help students determine that middle point. And then once we've labeled our benchmark numbers, we can now round. And we can do the same representation when we're rounding to the tenths and hundredths. So if you have students struggling to see that distance between your benchmark numbers, pull out a base 10 rod and provide a value to it. So when we're rounding to the tenths, that rod can represent one tenth. And if we're rounding to the hundredths, the rod will represent one one hundredth. Also, the ultimate goal here is for students to not have to draw a number line every time. We want them to visualize that number line in their head so that way they can just fluently round but you can provide those scaffolds to build up to that number line number sense.